Hey, everybody, welcome to AJS News, the first of two videos we've got for you today. But first, a word from our sponsors. Oh. Oh. That was an intense workout. Yeah. I'm sweating. Yeah, yeah, it smells like it was an intense workout. Oh, man. Yeah, I need some new deodorant. I don't know why. This is not working. Because you're just painting hair. You have to get it on the skin. When was the last time you manscaped? Hey man, it was a long winter. Yeah, but you're not getting any of it on yet. Manscaped's not just for down there. It's for up here too, and everywhere you've got unwanted body hair. Take care of it, because you stink. You wanna borrow my deodorant? Oh god, no. Guys, take care of your junk with Manscaped. The Lawnmower 4.0 keeps things clean and tidy, and the amazing body wash keeps you springtime fresh. Go to manscaped.com forward slash angry jojo for 20% off and free shipping today. Time to trim up the uh, unwanted hair. Yeah. It's a lot better now. I mean, seriously, you can't get your deodorant or antiperspirant on your skin where it needs to be if you got a big, big old forest down there. It Click work. the links <laughs> down below. I uh, support the show. Thank you to our sponsors. And um, in AJS News, uh, it was Happy my birthday, birthday yesterday, yes. so I didn't get any work done. That's why. Where's the Golem Review? <laughs> it's it's freaking delayed because I didn't work over the weekend. I was having fun, hanging out with family and friends. Uh, so give me, uh, you know, it'll be out later this week. Um, sorry about the huge delay on the goal, and we'll get back to get back to work. We'll get back to work here. Um, so yeah, that's just uh, that. And uh, Warhammer 40,000 10th edition comes out this week. Uh, we'll have some battle reports on our Warhammer Wednesday, maybe play over the weekend. And we hope you join us uh, for Warhammer Wednesdays. So thank you all uh, so much. Let's jump into the news. Alex, what the hell has happened over the past week? Uh, we got some really exciting news. I know you are going to be thrilled. Uh, one, oh, of the, one of the games... One of the games that came out last year. It was like Whoa. one of the games. And it's uh, getting new content. Uh, Callisto Protocol Final Chapter launches June 27th. Um, so the. You excited? What a disappointment. Are you excited? I'm disappointed. I was so excited for that game like a <laughs> yes, year ago. Yes, so was because I. I love Dead Space so much, and it just was bad. <sighs> It was bad. What, what, what is it? Did they detail what's in it? Is it like, you know, <coughs> yeah. oh, so yeah. they had DLC? Prepare for the final transmission, the heart pounding final chapter of the Callisto final Protocol. Chapter? Did we not even get a conclusion to the fucking story, I guess? Well, no, he sends her off on the ship, her. and then we. We shouldn't have saved her. Yeah, yeah. and then we just go, oh, yeah, I'm a oh, piece that's of shit. right. And he stays there. And I'm on the ship. And, and then the lady calls uh, up and goes, <laughs> maybe I can save you, but you got to do something for me. <sighs> Again, oh, shut the hell Again. up. Uh, yeah, I fucking hate her. I fucking hate him. I fucking hate the game. But maybe I'll torture us all. And uh, bad, bad news though, since we played it on PC, oh. we get it two days late because oh. PlayStation's getting it two whole days. Oh early. my god, uh, I need to run out and get a PlayStation because Calypso Protocol gets that shit two days early. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. No, I'm not really. I'm, I'm not interested. If we're not covering it here, I'm not even gonna download. It. <laughs> Not, no, not. you didn't, you didn't even buy it, right? You don't have a copy at home. I do. Uh, oh I do. shit, that's right, because you I were not. excited. I remember. Someone, this is why it landed it was, on the disappointing list. Someone gifted it to me, yeah, because mm. I was super excited. Because I do love, I love Dead Space One and mm. Two. Hated Callisto Protocol, and I really enjoyed the Dead Space One remake. Yeah, the only like. good aspect of that game was uh, the visuals. Looked, yes, the visuals. It looked great. It looked great good yeah. atmosphere, but everything else just fell wow. flat. Yeah. Yeah. Disappointed. Auto dodge. Once again. Not, not, not good <laughs> stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about actual good games. The top selling game on Steam this uh, earlier this week is uh, Battlebit Remastered. 254 player first person shooter made That's by a lot of four fun. people. Um, and it's great. It's 15 bucks. It, it, I enjoy it. I played it. We played it with the community actually a good bit when they do a little play test. So. so many players out there. So you can play with your teams. It's got the, the squad mechanics, and it's just fun, man. It's, it's very uh, chaotic. The they buildings. deserve all the success, and I want you to go out and support them, and we'll do a video later on on them. And there's no uh, excuse because it'll run as this it says on a toaster. Like, it runs yep. on anything. And yeah. a deep customization. If you're wondering, like, where all of the love and joy and, like, cool stuff that went into the Battlefield franchise, Battlebit stole it. I don't yeah, know how they stole it, <laughs> but they stole it. The Levolution, the weapon customization, the squad, the yeah. fun. 
Uh-oh. And shut up about the graphics. These people are like, I'm not playing. The game looks like shit. It's like, <laughs> this is the prime example of gameplay over graphics. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Clear some um, protocol and then this. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I would like much rather play <laughs> yeah. Big exactly. Battle Bit. All right. Xbox boss says that uh, Arcane Austin is going to stay open, even though Redfall absolutely fucking sucked. And wow. it was their fault. <laughs> what he said is, that is the plan right now. To that, stay open. That's, <laughs> that's the plan Right now, yeah, we plan to stay open. <laughs> that, that, is that like a veiled threat? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm saying, that's a plan right now. Well, your actions Meaning, are speaking louder than words. You're putting out this garbage. So yeah, you want to stay open, but can you stay open? Yeah, that's a different story. Mm, so Matt, Booty. <laughs> well, there was a lot. I mean, what was it? The pandemic uh, affected them a lot, or something like that. But I don't know. The pandemic affected all game Everyone. development. Yeah. So it's like I don't know how much we can we can do on there. Yeah. But I think if they have one more stinker, then that the the right now is going to change to right now. Well, Matt Booty says that he feels, a quote, accountable that Microsoft could have done a better job with Arcane. And this is because Microsoft completely took a hands-off approach. They said, look, we're going to let you do, because they purchased ZeniMax at the yeah. time, and just said, look, we're going to let you handle your thing. We're focusing on some other big things that we've got going. We trust you. We bought you because we trust you. And they were completely and totally fucking wrong, because Arcane had, had no fucking idea what they were doing. They lost over 70% <laughs> of their, their developers from, you know, <coughs> play to, to, hit to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I... Does not sound good. Like if you were working there right now, yeah. maybe start putting. Some well, I don't know, guys. Beam. But but think about it. They've had you know critical darlings forever, and then they put out one bad one, and one all of a sudden critical, we're talking about one critical darling though. One critical Only darling. Only pray. Everything else was arcane oh. in France. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So pray too. Yeah. Or pray. Yeah. So yeah, they not had that, the one you wanted. So <laughs> not the, the one I wanted. Yeah, the recent ones weren't weren't all that great. Um, oh, and so, and this was really really bad for them. Now, I, of course, Microsoft could just say, "Look, we're going to roll you into a different company." It's not like we're going to cull everybody and everyone's right. gone forever. It's like, look, we'll move you into somewhere else where you can yeah. people can keep a closer eye on you because what you put out was doo doo garbage. <laughs> and it's and it's not. Good. Yeah, it was a bad as Gollum though. Yeah, it was not <laughs> as <laughs> so, <laughs> so surprising. So surprising, not as bad as Gollum. <laughs> Uh, Microsoft Studios has announced that they're no longer developing games for Xbox One. Uh, and as soon as I read this, I was like, fucking finally, I am tired of moving at the speed of last-gen consoles, which is <laughs> one of the reasons why Cyberpunk absolutely shit the bed, because it just be- it could not run at all, and they were trying to make it run on these, old- these older ones. So at least on the Microsoft side, we get to move forward. I'm hof- hopefully, we're going to get something from PlayStation saying, look, we're no longer going to do that for PS4 games. Um, maybe, yeah. maybe when people get more PS5s in their hands. Yeah. But um, I think it's a good thing. It's a yeah. good thing. I mean, you, <laughs> some companies have already moved on. I mean, look at Matt. I mean, they're doing half ass releases with Madden on the past consoles that have Certain none features, of the features. Yeah. They're essentially just those legacy games. They, they slap legacy on the Madden 2024, and it's basically just a repeat of the last Madden with minimal effort, and they say, no, that's just the way it is, like they were doing on the um, the Switch. Just oh, yeah. absolutely crazy bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I guess that's that. Uh uh, the we got to move forward. Got to move forward. Games are getting better and more technology, and uh, they should be. But we're still locking stiff to 30 frames per second in this generation, which is really frustrating because we were promised something else. Mm-hmm. And Starfield, one of the biggest fucking game releases, going to be this year, locked to 30 frames. That's disappointing. Yeah, but the the other issue, the other part of this is Xbox actually still is moving at the speed of. But ultimately, it, they call it a this-generation console, but there's Xbox Series X, which is a powerful piece of hardboard. Remember, we used to talk about it. It's teraflops. Mm-hmm. It's the biggest, floppiest boy that <laughs> exists in next-generation consoles. But they also have the Xbox Series S, which is the sad version, right? It's, it's slower, and I'm wondering if... I mean, eventually, I imagine we can get 60 frames on Starfield. Give it six months. Maybe they'll be able to figure mm-hmm. it out. Mm-hmm. On the S, I don't think we're ever going to be there. So mm-hmm. Xbox still has this kind of slow lagging behind other console that they're they're developing games for, yeah. um, and PlayStation doesn't. So it's like, I, yeah. I don't know. I, I never liked the idea of an S other than you know people who are wanting to play like less serious stuff. But if you're putting out a big, beefy monster like Starfield, then you I need don't some know. power. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, we got some news this week from Twitch. They introduced a new 70-30 revenue program. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's called the Partner Plus Program. So streamers who match the criteria will benefit from a 70% share on their net subscription revenue up to $100,000 annually. And then after that $100,000 point, it'll revert back to the 50-50 split. Um, the only issue is that uh, gift subs and Twitch Prime subs do not count towards the 350 threshold. It's kind of a shitty thing Why? to do. Look, Twitch wants to give wants to be more equitable, but they don't want to be that that equitable. So they're giving you a little bit, and you know that little that little thing on the back end. They're like, no, we're keeping that. So it's a it's a small thing that they're doing, but still still not great. Well, you kind of just, okay. Wait a minute. So you jumped into that when you caught me off guard. I was uh, uh, so setting up the story. Twitch treating people like shit. Don't have their shit together. Mm-hmm. Recently, uh, you know, had some bad messaging on the sponsor stuff. But this is a positive Twitch story saying, "Hey, you know how when we did a new story back when you know they went everybody to fifty yeah. fifty." Um, and they were greedy as versus other people, other platforms, which would give you a, a, a larger percentage. Now you're telling me they're going from 50-50 to 75. 73. 73. Okay. So they're giving a bit more. Well, good on them. I, guess, I mean, that's what it should have been already. Everybody else is pretty much in that line. So I'm wondering if this is in response to all of the People negative leaving. feedback and just d- d- aimless direction and the lack of confidence and, and maybe people moving away from the platform as we're about to see here. Or if this was always the plan and, and just Twitch is just some shitty messaging with all this other stuff, you know. So uh, it's curious. But, hey, <coughs> any every little bit helps, especially if you're a smaller streamer. And even if you're a bigger streamer, every little bit helps. So, yeah. But I'm not going to give you too many kudos because that's no. where it should have been. Sure. However, thank you for doing that because it helps. But yeah. they still want to skim a little bit more off the top. Yeah. So we'll do this, uh, but the Amazon and gifts don't count. Mm-hmm. Why? Wait, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and we get a lot of those yeah. because a lot of people have Amazon no, it's Prime. Amazon Prime, like everyone they, does. Yeah, I, I have Amazon Prime. You still, Prime. you still get the. Uh, so you, st- you still get the oh. seventy thirty on these on the uh, gifts and all those yeah. other ones. So that that's gonna. What about but, this Amazon Prime? He's talking. About? So Amazon Prime. So you, ha- in order to qualify for seventy thirty, you have to have three hundred and fifty unique subs. Okay. Now those subs cannot include Prime 350 subs. 350 subs is a lot for you know for smaller streamers. Yeah. It's, it's hard to get to that. Yeah, so it's 350 recurring paid subscriptions for uh-huh. uh, for three consecutive months, but Prime subs and gift subs won't count towards. Ah, so that's that's what we're saying. So it's like, but you still get 73 percent of those. But let's say you have 273 subs that are not uh, th- that are the pure subs and not the Amazon subs. You have not yet qualified for the program. Yeah. Uh, you only have to you qualify the program for three months, and once you qualify at that that amount, you get locked in for 12 months. Sure. So I think uh, you're okay. going to see a lot well, of people. Okay, that's good because flux- that would suck if you're like constantly yeah. fluctuating. Yeah, so people are probably going to do major subathons <clears throat> and things to try to, to get there. Yeah. But Twitch has never really had to change because although Facebook has a competing platform, it sucks. YouTube has a competing platform. It sucks. It, yeah, it, it's it's uh, it's getting better, but yeah. it's too risky for at least us mm-hmm. to have all of our content on one. We have one copyright strike or three, and then we're fucked everywhere. Yeah. So that's why we, you know, yeah. have done YouTube. that. So now that there's new people in town, uh, th- I think we're going to start seeing some more changes. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, there's two ways to deal with a wet bar of soap, which is kind of what the, the audience <laughs> and the streamers are for Twitch. You can yeah. try to do the dick thing, squeeze as hard as you fucking can, and uh, let's see how that works out for you. Or you can do, put another hand in there and try to make your platform better. So you can try to contractually tie everyone to your platform or just make it better and then no one will move over to kick. Speaking of kick, uh, yes. XQC is has a potential hundred million dollar deal to start streaming on kick. God damn! What the fuck, man? Uh, it's actually so it's guaranteed. How many? So like we get what? We get like a, a thousand viewers, a thousand five hundred. If it's a super popular game, maybe we get up to two k, three k sometimes. 
How many concurrent viewers Ten does this guy do? More. It's a lot. It's up to he, he, he does like a hundred thousand yeah. concurrent viewers. You think? Yeah, I've seen it. So then, so then, if we get a hundred, if we get a hundred, uh, a million, and then you divide that by the concurrence, shouldn't we be making like a million, two million? <laughs> No, because it's like, not linear. Fuck? It scales. It's it and it's plus. This is a signing it's, bone. Yeah. Let's. This is come over to mine. Now this is a stupid fucking contract. Uh, yes, it and is. It's it is, like, what the fuck? It's gar- It's it it's seven, sense. It's seventy million dollars for two years, and incentives that can push the total value up to a hundred million. That's where everyone's getting that hundred million thing. And it's not an exclusive contract. See, I'm I'm trying to quantify it because yeah, like these like, numbers are <laughs> fucking crazy. It's a win win for him, obviously. But oh. what are they? Oh, you what take the fuck it. are they doing? You fucking like, take it. Sign remember, it. Remember <laughs> Nick's uh, 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 mixer's ninja money? Yes. Where he's just like, oh no, I just kept all your money, even though your platform went under. Uh, it doesn't so make jealous. Sense. It's like, look, we're paying you this much money. You have to stay on kick. You'd That's so dumb of them not to do. I guess I have some clarification okay. that this oh. article doesn't have, but some some you know research on the matter kind of explains. Kick is owned by a, a guy named Ed Craven, uh, and uh, he's the co uh, he's the CEO and co founder um, of Stake.com, an online crypto casino incorporate. Uh, you know, nah, I don't like that. Um, <laughs> But XQC is crazy popular on Twitch for gambling. That's what he was getting a hundred thousand people oh. watching him blow. And then he even says like he's blown. He lost two million dollars on bad bets and like all he. It's crazy. People watch him because he gets a, <coughs> a bunch of money. Now, <coughs> uh, watch our fucking children and our fucking gamers yeah. just fucking watching that. But you can't do that on Twitch because Twitch is not going to allow you to do some of these things. So this is a perfect <coughs> opportunity. One. For XQC to not only make gambling on uh, Kick, yeah. So go over to Kick, get people. He's like you. I mean, we don't have the details, but it's like, hey man, you gamble on my website. Mm-hmm. You get sponsored uh, by them. Be like, we'll give you money. You can just lose for free. I don't know mm. if you've ever been to a casino before, but sometimes they will give you free casino yeah, money, knowing yeah. you're going to lose it in the casino. <laughs> and so giving XQC seventy million dollars okay, and saying, okay, welcome to the high roller spot of the casino. They're like, man, he's going to lose half of it in the he's casino. Try to because get that's how money. stats work. <laughs> Um, but losing two million dollars in gambling, you would think that you'd be like, "Okay, I'm gonna stop now." You yeah, know, but if you lost and that's just two million, million of your hundred million but dollar he's contract. About to make a hundred. So he's like, no, yeah, I can listen. Do it again. There is, <laughs> this is so <laughs> fucking stupid. I just, I'm sorry. I don't watch Q, uh, XQC. I've seen a few actually, um, but I don't think is worth that much. In comparison to what you could get, let's say you decide instead of giving one guy a hundred million, I'm going to give a hundred guys one million. You know, we will. Hey, hey, we're available. You know, all these other channels, and then you have this huge fucking shift, right? If you're trying to make market impact, is I would think that that's nobody's ever tried that. Everybody tries to go after the big names, you know what I mean, and to make the biggest splash. But I'm curious how going after 100 people for 1 million each versus one person for 100 would work. Yeah. I mean, you have to find specifically 100 people that are interested. In my opinion, this is about gambling. This is 100% about I think. Th- see, I think that's why he, you're right because, yeah, he's, it, he's, it would have been more efficient to do it. Didn't they sign somebody else too? Kicker? I'm sure they're so- trying to sign yeah, people. Yeah. Um, uh, according to XUC, I love gambling. I like to gamble, so I'm just going to gamble in <laughs> a story. That's the quote. Yeah. So it's like, no, he knows. He probably gets shit for it all the time, and so that's why his response is that. Look, I love to gamble. I don't care. Fuck it. I, I make millions of dollars, and that's why I can gamble so easily and act like it's nothing, and there's nothing that's wrong yeah. with it. And hey, 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 Kick, I love craps. Like, I love craps. I mm-hmm. taught both of these gentlemen how to play craps, so if you want me to teach people on the internet... I can teach like ten people at a time to play craps. No, I, I, mean, I can get ten <laughs> viewers. I can't do hundred hundred thousand, but I bet you I can get ten. <laughs> so uh, I, I don't know. It just seems like this is a, an opportunity to have a hundred thousand people watching your online casino, which is a hundred thousand potential client like people who want to be just like their their buddy and lose because he knows he plays the gambling. Yeah, with a hundred view, a hundred different personalities. 87 of them might be like, no, fuck gambling, you know, like we do. So, so yeah, I, see, I agree yeah. with you. And it's also a crypto casino, so it you can just, it doesn't matter who you are. It's like, hey, you 12? Mm-hmm. Are you 12? Mm-hmm. You want to gamble? I mean, I, I, 
I may have played a bunch of party poker. That needs to that oh, needs yeah, to change. You, you, what, what's going on here, Alex? Yeah. You getting the gambling ball? Oh, when I was when I was like fourteen, when online poker rooms came uh-huh. about, like I was playing like seven <clears throat> tournaments at Jeez. a time. Really? Like, oh yeah. What? How do you think I was playing paying for my I video see, games? I see. I see. Like, yeah, I looked it up. It was uh, Amaranth. She signed a two year deal for thirty. Thirty million. Thirty million. Yeah. God damn it, man. <sighs> That's just wild. Yeah. I guess they want to go for the big names over grabbing a bunch of, you know, mid-tier, yeah. small streamers, everybody. And I just think this big migration would have a bigger impact. But what do well, I it's know? it's also not exclusive. And so XQC said... And that's non-exclusive, are they gonna, too? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, so if it's not an exclusive agreement and they're just going to be streaming on Twitch anyway, why would you migrate over to Kick? It just sucks because I think that these XQC and Amareth... They already make millions and millions and millions. And then you're just dumping a huge truckload of money on them, even more so when that could be spread amongst the rest of the community that work hard and that stream daily. Because, you know, being a Twitch streamer or any kind of streamer is a, is a lot. And so I just think that it would be better, you know, delved out. But yeah, until can, somebody does it, we will never know the impact. Yeah. My personal thing is... You know, I hope Kick is successful. I really do because I want competition. Like I want Twitter. fire under Twitch's ass. Or YouTube, like YouTube, do something. Will you do anything? It's like you're not really yeah. doing much uh, with your streaming yeah. service, though. I mean, they move. They're like a fucking oil tanker, so it takes them a long time. You know, Kick can make these lightning quick moves and stuff because they're still, you know, relatively new. They're looking to spend money. But, but yeah. they just spent a hundred to hundred and thirty million dollars on just two people. Yeah, now they're like, like all right, but that, you're in a you're in a hole right now. You better hope that your crypto casino or whatever is funding all this stuff because that's a lot of money. One hundred thirty on might as well spend two hundred. All right, so take the rest of that seventy million that you haven't spent yet. Do what I said. Spread it among seventy streamers and give them a one one million dollar each. Our number is. 1-800-CALL-ANGRY-JOE. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, OJ, you had one that you wanted to go over? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Lies of P. The demo has uh, been downloaded over 100 times. Or 1 million. 100, 100 times. 100. Nice. The developers and their Amazing. families. <laughs> over 1 million. <laughs> You're a player, right? 1 million. Uh, I love the style of these games. This is like an action RP or a role-playing game mm-hmm. in the Pinocchio universe. Yeah. I saw some people playing it. But these, like again, I love the way they look, but these games are just so stressful. How far did you get in Bloodborne? Pretty far. Did not finish it, though. Okay. Same with Elden Ring. Yeah. But can confirm, go over to his house, he'd be playing it, and, but he'd always be around the same spot. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you die, you got to go all the way back. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what it looked like. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. <sighs> Still fun. Yeah, there's Still a fun. We're we're eating good if you're a Souls fan like uh, like I am because there's there's that there's Lord of the Fallen there's there's a bunch of I mean just great stuff coming. Um, I'll just have to see. I, it, there's some some roughness there, but they've got plenty of time to to polish things up before release. So I'm excited for that one. Yeah. So I mean, I think I'll the demo's out. We'll have again. to try it. Maybe we'll stream it this week. Lies of P. Yep. Get frustrated. Play some more. That's the game. Can't get frustrated. That, oh, I'm. I'm going to get frustrated. Okay. Well, <laughs> it may not, may not work out great. <laughs> All right. That's it. Thank you all so much. We got a second uh, news video for you on its way. So thank you very much for watching this one. Go visit our sponsors in the links down below. And yes. we will see you in video two. Bye, guys. <laughs>